I've seen uh, footage of, of Beardy's or with MBD and things, but when he feeds, what I've been doing is, um, mm -hmm. you know, I bought this uh, like a plant mix for bearded dragons. Yeah. I get some of that, sprinkle it with some calcium powder, uh, a bit of moisture on there because he's not drinking, so he's got a bit of moisture, calcium, calcium yeah. and I think crushing heads on uh, small crickets and mixing them in, so the legs are twitching and it's been attracting. Okay. Him. So he's and got that willingness to hunt. Yeah, but when his head, like it's like that, but like I can't. He, he's like that, literally shaking, and he goes okay. like this, but he can't even bite. So he can't him. get to. So have you no. have you given him any whole crickets or anything to see what he does initially? Yeah. yeah. Did he just? Did he kind of try to hunt? Yeah. But he, couldn't coordinate. Well, he, he can't. He can't. He can't coordinate to catch them at all. Yeah. So I started, like I said, like sort of crushing yeah. the heads into so like a little bowl and heart. holding in his head. But even when his head's in the bowl and they're this far away, he, he still he can't can't, can't get them. Okay. Do we have a rough age for him? No. Nope. Sorry, darling. No, I don't know. Really I don't know anything. Okay. It'd be interesting to know his weight, his age. Um, yeah. He obviously is very underweight. Um, you yeah. can see his pelvis oh, is quite know, yeah. prominent. He's he's got no it's, yeah. very small fat pads, um, and there's definite neurological signs there. Uh, darling. <laughs> yeah. He's just showing you that he can walk. Yeah, this is I'm fine. But he's thin. I mean, I, when when Dan came to mine earlier on, <laughs> and I said, look, um, how about how thin he was? It's you know, I mean, I don't want to say the mind's obese. She's not obese, but she's certainly not on, on the, the bigger side. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. Not seen any discharge from the eyes or nose at all. No, no discharge. So you've been eating your fruit. Been feeding red fruit, yeah. Uh, a bit of everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. You know, I don't like sort of going for too sort of like, you know, uh, like treats, you know, too often. But yeah. at the same time, I'm sort of in the mind at the moment. If they can eat anything, it's better They're in a transitionary think. period, yeah. so they are going to be a bit more difficult. So I'm but happy with that. Thing, yeah, yeah, so. fab. So yeah, what do you want to do, just hold her at the top? Um, I'm happy to try without the towel for now, it's just in case. Okay. Are you happy restraining her? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he used to handling reptiles. Yeah. Just pelvic and thoracic girdle normally is yeah. fine. Um, tail if, if she starts if she to starts, yeah. you know, get a bit worried. Um, but hopefully she'll let us just snip the very ends off these nails. It'll be a little bit less sharp for you. I think she likes that. Yeah. I'm probably thinking, oh, here. this feels nice. Well, that's better, get those horrible sharp nails off then, eh? Cool, so with her, like I say, I think the environment's going to be the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, she's going to need a big enclosure, which is sorted. Yeah. Heat lamp, you want to be somewhere between 33 and 35 degrees Celsius yeah. in your hot spot. Down to about 27 in the cool in the end. Bottom, yeah. um, and then obviously your nighttime temperatures, ideally not going below sort of 20 to 22. Okay. You might be fine without a heat lamp at night, depending on what your temperatures are doing in your house. Uh, no, they're usually at night, they drop to about 22, 23 in our room anyway. So yeah, so you probably be will, okay, I'll, but you might. I might get one just for the top bit, at least she's got, she's got the choice in other yeah. things. So. It's a bigger enclosure, it will cool down more. Yeah. Um, so you can you can measure it and see. I would have a thermometer at the cool end down the hot end if you can. Um, what have you, what did you say you'd offered her food wise? Food wise? Everything I can think of. Yeah, uh, parsnips, uh, carrot, parsley, sweet potato, uh, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, melon, um, you know, beans, uh, just I think. Yeah. You know, so I just I, I googled what what <coughs> things you know as a staple and for um, a treat or occasional. I just bought all of it and thought if I get to have something that's better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't yeah. interested. So. Okay. Well, hopefully as she warms up, we'll see her starting to eat. Like I said, okay. cancer syringe feed, um, and if she's still not eating, then we'll, we'll need to look at doing some more investigations. Yeah. Um, fab. So diet should be largely greens. Yeah. So do your green veg, you can supplement with your things like your sweet potato and mix yeah. it up a little bit. Fruit, no more than 5% of the diet oh, no, normally. Yeah. So I mean, when I initially tried, I just thought just to try and get her to at least yeah, have just something, anything, you know. Yeah, I mean, there's like yeah. kale, loads of kale and things as well. Yeah. Um, and, you know, dandelions and stuff. But yeah. I thought if she could have anything, anything is better than nothing, which is yeah, absolutely. rejected um, at the moment. So. And then uh, you've probably already got calcium supplements at home yeah. for your others. Yeah. yeah. Low phosphorus calcium supplement on the greens. Of um, course, yeah. Once or twice a week for an adult would be absolutely fine. Yeah. Hello everyone, Trancha Dunn here. So I want to thank you all for taking the time for watching this video. I do. 
Hello everyone, Tarantula Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. So I want to thank you all for taking the time for watching this video. I know it was much shorter than I originally planned and what I wanted to show you. I do have feed, footage of the feeding, administering the antibiotics, the bathing, um, you know, like proper rambling video sort of thing. However, my laptop uh, keeps on shutting down on me and the more clips I'm putting into PowerDirector is causing the laptop to just grind to a halt and then like not respond basically so i've taken out all the extra footage apart from the vets i wanted to really just show you that they've both been and uh in a nutshell how they're getting on uh the iguana isn't too bad uh a bit underweight but hopefully once it's in its new enclosure which i'm picking up today uh which i'll do a video on in the future it will be that will fix the problem with the iguana hopefully once you've got a heat and the uvb and the food and everything kind of sorted and settled she'll be good uh the bearded dragon is a little bit more complicated so um i do so have him i have got antibiotics for it which i have to administer every, every single day and then after christmas probably looking at going down the route of uh, bloods and, and other things for it so i will talk more about that in the future but i wanted to sort of do a bit of a you know talking section to explain why the video isn't as content full as i would have hoped but my laptop just can't handle all the um the extra videos and things so yeah both the reptiles are doing well i do so have both of them i will be keeping them um and i will be getting them both sorted and like i said the iguana enclosure will be up and sorted today so uh, i want to thank you all for taking time for watching this video please don't forget to like leave a comment subscribe um, of course I will be doing invert videos, I have loads of updates on my inverts to share with you as well as some care guides, rehousing videos, um, all that kind of good stuff but at the moment I really want to, I don't want you all wondering what's going on with the reptiles, the iguana and the bearded dragon so for now it will be updates on these, uh, once they're sorted then I will start spacing them out and going back to my normal kind of upload schedule sort of thing, so uh, yeah thank you and of course if you would like to support me i do have a patreon and paypal as well as a peer box if you'd like to send me anything all links to that can be found in the description of this video as well as links to the vets that i used uh, if you're in house and i would highly recommend you use mano vets um really really professional and just wonderful wonderful people to deal with so a huge thank you to those of you from mano vets and of course that said don't forget to check out my recent videos subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you all in the next video Goodbye for me, everyone. Take care.